I worked in the music industry for many, many years, and I still have very close friends of mine who are, who are um, record executives, producers, you know, in the music industry. Let me show you something with you that a lot of people don't know. I want to say 75% of the people you see on TV living in good houses, fancy houses, driving nice cars, don't own it. The record labels own it. The record label gives them cars. The record label buy them houses. But all that stuff is in the record label's name. I never forget when Snoop Dogg came to Baton Rouge and he signed with No Limit Records. And he was so shocked, you know, how much money, how much stuff we have. And uh, we had to take Snoop to find a house because we got him a car, a truck. So we took him to find a house. So I remember me and Snoop Dogg was talking. He asked me, he said, Randy, does everybody at No Limit, do y'all you know, own y'all cars and y'all own your own houses? I said, yeah. P, Master P is one of the very few people that will buy all his employees. I'm talking about not only the, um, the artists, but people who work in promotion, people who, even the janitors, all had you know, nice cars, and people put everybody house in their name. And Snoop Dogg was shocked, because when Snoop left um, that Row record, he was financially broke. Everything he had, the cars, the houses, everything was in that Row name. And um, I know a lot of artists like this, you know. I know a lot of artists when Things get tough and things get real, real bad. You know, you know, they take the cars away from them and they take the um, the houses away from them. And why I'm trying to say this because, you know, people have this, you know, idea that everybody they see on TV, you know, is rich. You know, you got your, Mar you know, you got your Mariah Carey, you got your Eminem, Dr. Dre, you know, Kanye West, you know, Master P, you know, Puffy, you know. You got these guys that, you know, they, they got money, you know, baby, you know, they, they got, you know, they got their money and own their stuff, you know, and that's one thing good about working at No Limit when I was at No Limit, you know, you know, I own my own home, I own my own car, you know, I, I own my own Rolex, everything, everything was in our name and that's very rare in the music industry.